I think I know that song. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> what do I turn when I'm what is that? My life's safe when I'm in a job. Been through the storm and the rain, but you feel my pain. You never touch, never blame me. I'm so grateful that you saved me. You lost my baby, you lost my mind. Yes, yes, yes. What you say, what you say. Man, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody out there. What to say, radio, all our listeners out there. Man, we got a very special guest, very special guest this morning. Bake Music from Georgia is here in the house. And uh, man, he's coming to spread a, a little bit of uh, positivity with us and uh, let us know a little bit about who he is and share his story. Mr. Bake music, we definitely appreciate you for uh, taking your time out today uh, to uh, talk with us and everything. How's it been going, brother? Man, it's going. It's um, it's been progressive, which is a good thing. Um, I, I've had the chance to get on your show, so that's a that's a blessing in itself. So thank you once again for having me. I know I said it once, but I'm I'm always appreciative of an outlet that I can get to, you know, spread, spread the good news, spread myself, you know, and spread the message of hope, you know, that's yes, what, sir. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. And so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Make music. Uh, tell us, tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, who you are and uh, where you're from and all that good stuff. Yes, sir. So make music. I am stationed here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I've been in Atlanta since 2006 after uh, graduating high school. Um, I'm 33 years old. I'm from South Georgia, which is uh, Camden County. It's a little country town uh, <laughs> down at the southeast region of, of Georgia. But um, good, good humble beginnings, man. Good humble beginnings. I started singing at the age of 11 uh, in church. Um, and then I pursued R&B when I first moved to Atlanta um, because that's that's a big, big part of me. Um, but since rededicating my life to God and Christ, uh, 2017, I pursue, I'm pursuing gospel. And here we are, man. Amen. We are here <laughs> that's today. What, that's what's up. Amen. Amen. Now, let me ask you this. You, like you said, you've been uh, singing since you were 11 years old. Who are some of the uh, artists, who are some singers, uh, musicians that influenced you as a young one? Well, on the gospel side, you know, I have, you know, Fred Hammond, of course, John P. Key, uh, Daryl Coley is uh, one of my vocal um, inspirations. He's crazy. Um, <laughs> but as far as R&B, you know, the Jodeci, the Isleys, the, you know, just a lot of rhythm and blues influence, James Brown. Okay. Um, you got to put some soul and funk in there, you know. <laughs> so that's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I've I've been influenced. I I love music. I love and hence the name, you know, bake music. It goes from I'm I'm probably leading my questions. I'm sorry. No, you uh, bake yeah. music. The name it goes um, with my last name. My last name is Baker, and simply put, I love music. Um, I love every aspect of music. I can listen to country music. My wife uh, tells me to shut up just about every other day because I'm singing <laughs> something that she doesn't know. Uh, but yeah, man, I just, I love music. I love what music can do. I love what music can, um, you know, pull, music can pull you out of so many places um, just with, just not only with the instruments, but the, the lyrics itself, you know, it ministers to you in itself. So music is definitely a universal language that transcends your ability. Um, so yes, I, I love music. Oh man, I'm so glad you mentioned that music is man transcending, and, and, and that's what what you say radio is all about, man. We we play a, a variety, man, because you know that's what I built it off. Because I love music, I love all genres, just like like you mentioned, gospel to to the blues to hip hop. 
to rap to R and B to pop to everything. You know, everything has uh, you know good music. That is good music ha has a good message and, and uh, yes, everybody can relate to. You know, and you also mentioned one of my favorite uh, bands, that yes, Jodeci. Jodeci, love me some Jodeci. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yes, sir. Now, now I love Jodeci. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Now tell us, you you also uh you started off uh you know in the R and B, but uh, 2017 you got into the gospel. Now you're also an ordained minister, correct? Can you tell us, talk to us a little bit about that? Yes, sir. So my church uh, shouts out to New Direction Church of Hateville. My pastor, um, Pastor Dear Hopkins, First Lady Carrie Lynn Hopkins, um, just a great group of people that really root for the underdog. Um, and we preach the Bible, we preach and teach the Bible. And I believe being uh, introduced to it in such a way, um, the way that it was reintroduced to me, I would say Christ himself, um, really made me question a lot of how I was raised, you know, um, as far as what we were taught and how we were brought up. And I was telling somebody the other day that you, you kind of get hung up on growing up. You kind of always knew what would send you to hell. You never knew what could get you to heaven. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I always knew how to get to hell. Uh -huh. I never knew how to get to heaven. Uh -huh. And so, and the life that you can live while on your way to heaven is not one of restriction. It's not one of boundaries. It's not one. You're actually free when you accept Christ, you're free from condemnation, you're free from sin, you're free from um, opinions, you're free from all of these things, but not to say that the walk will be easy, but your mindset has to say, you know, I'm free from this, nothing is holding me, nothing is, um, you know, has me by the neck. So when I, back in 2017, I was just in a bad place, I was in a dark place. Um, I would be, you know, transparent, in using drugs, you know, drinking, and just, I think a lot of my life just had kind of caught up with me. Mm -hmm. And I started making irrational decisions. And I, I met God in my lowest place. I met God in a place where I could, I had used all my ability up. Now I had to just give it to him. I had to just surrender and say, have your way with whatever it is that you would want me to do. And that yes <laughs> opened so many doors that I can't even imagine. Uh, you know, I wanted to do, like I said, I was pursuing R&B, but now the door for gospel has opened and I was really grinding with the R&B, but nothing would work, nothing would never work. And, but it's just God's timing and what you were supposed to be doing. And I believe this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So ministry has really catapulted my, my whole, where I am today, you know, ministry really has done that for me. And thank you for ministering to us, yes, just and sharing your testimony and your, you know, your life uh, uh, testimony and struggles uh, with us because that's what we need to hear. You know, that uh, you know that's what God's people yes. need because we all go through. We all have our trials and tribulations, and so uh, we connect with each other is sharing, uh, you know, our, our testimonies. So Absolutely. definitely, definitely appreciate that. Absolutely. Let's talk about baked music. Um, yeah, baked music, you, are, you led, on, led into that already. You know, you gave the name. It, now, is baked yes, also, uh, is that a record label or is that just the artist, You the baked music, the artist? Listen, look, you just probably prophesied something over me. So I'm going to snatch <laughs> that out of the air too. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's definitely just my name right now. Um, the starting ground is it's my name again my last name and I love music. So hence the name, but it's definitely just, just my name right now. Okay, for Nothing right further now. As of yet, but right. I'd rather say what you say. So we go. <laughs> music records in the future, you know, hey. <laughs> With your own, yes, your own artists, your, all your artists on bake music records. What you say, what you say. Now, yes, um, let's talk say about, about it. Like it. That's it, that's it. Now you released the inspirational song that we played in, in the beginning, made it, and you have the, a video to it. Uh, can you talk to a little bit about that? Who uh, wrote it, produced it, arranged it, and how the song came about? Yes, sir. So made it uh, was released uh, actually on my mother's birthday. 
uh, RIP to her. Um, I lost her when I was nine. So I paid homage to her with releasing my first ever single ever um, on her birthday. Uh, but it was produced by my producer, uh, Mika Beats. Uh, Mika, uh, me and her have been friends. I, 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 I wear the badge of honor by telling that she's the longest friend I've had because we've been friends since elementary school. Okay. So, but she's pursuing, um, she's pursuing her career as far as producing and, and any genre. But I, I, I wanted to work with her on this um, project because the EP is coming too. We don't have a date yet, but it is coming. But she produced um, every song, every song on it. And Made It was one that she produced, the very first song that she produced. And uh, she wrote it as well. Okay. So we collabed towards the end uh, on stuff. Uh, shouts out to uh, Adrian Porter. He was a co-producer, AP Factor here in Atlanta. He was a co-producer on it that gave you that feel at the end. Um, but it, it's it's a, such an inspirational record to say you defeated the thing that once tried to defeat you. Okay. You're victorious over that very thing. And now you stand at the end of it saying, I made it. We made it. You know, I made it through that. I, I, I didn't allow myself to stop. And that's the, that's the whole tone of the uh, EP. Uh, because it's entitled Persevere. Okay. So every song is really speaking to making it or uh, a situation that, or situations that probably aren't to your liking, but you pushing through them. And that's, I think that's the motivation that I have right now. And it, it, it was birthed out of that song. It was birthed in that song, I should say. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, and that's a very, very uh, inspirational song. And uh, yeah, definitely feeling up. How, how's the feedback going with the song? How, how's the feedback? Man, reception, listen, because you're your own worst critic. So my, my I wouldn't say my bar was low, <laughs> okay. but it wasn't as, I would say I'm pleasantly surprised that the reception I'm getting. Um, I think a lot of my people that know me have been finally, 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 you know, that's the, that's the attitude that it's been. But when I get those messages that say, Hey man, this is how I start my day. Or I've, I've, it's, it's been added to my workout playlist yes. or, you know, thank you for, thank you for just sending it. Thank you for making this song. Thank you for letting the earth hear it. That's that's really what's pushing me, man. And it's 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 no it's no inflation of my esteem. It's all that a reassurance that I'm walking with God and that He's making the doors open for me. And all praises to Him. Absolutely, all praises. To him. Yes, because like I said, that song is very uh, inspirational, positive, and uh, very motivating. So uh, made it fake yes, music there. Um, one of your and, and speaking on that, one of your goals, uh, life goals, is encouraging people, uh, which I think is very important, especially during these times that uh, we're living in with depression, uh, yes. politics. You know the bad politics out there, racism out there, uh, a pandemic that we've been dealing with uh, over the last year, sickness and uh, death. Um, how do you? Uh, go about, uh, of course, we know the music, you know, and you kind of talked about it. How do you go yes, about sir. positivity into the atmosphere? Well, you know what? I, I, I would give it to the relationship I have and consistency I have with communicating with the Father. Mm -hmm. um, my prayer life um, is very instrumental um, in, in keeping me grounded. My church, we have a prayer line every um, weekday from Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. every morning, and people are sharing, you know, what, what they're going through or uh, agree with me on this and, and just communicating with God. And outside of that, I am a big advocate for therapy mm -hmm. and counseling. Okay. Um, I believe <laughs> I, I'm not with the saints that say, <laughs> pray about it and you're going to be all right. No, probably God wants you to go see about it. <laughs> and actually go and let somebody <laughs> let somebody yes that, that has a that has a degree in this thing really walk you through it because I, I I'm a I am a product of prayer and therapy 
<laughs> I am. Uh, I went to therapy and I'm not ashamed of it because I believe as a man, and I went last year, I would say, um, as a man, I, I realized that I was so broken that I didn't even know it. And I was, I was ministering to people while bleeding myself. Amen. And that was just a recipe for destruction because I was all burnt out. Mm. And so you eventually have to deal with whatever, whatever it is. And I hope I'm answering the question, but you are, you I are. believe that prayer, prayer as well as professionalism in mental, mental health are very important. I, I, I am an advocate of that. And I will, I will say it until the day I die. There's nothing wrong with going to see about yourself. There's nothing wrong with going um, and talk about it with somebody that knows how to implement tools for you to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to do. And I, I, I applaud anybody that goes Absolutely. and support them. You have my complete support. Absolutely. And speaking on that, uh, this month, I believe Mental, he uh, mental uh, Health Awareness Month is this month, month of May. Yes. So very, very important. Yes. So I'm glad you touched up on that as well. Now, you also have a, a, a important uh, July 10th, a virtual concert coming up. Can you talk to our listeners a little yes. bit about that and, and what's, what's going to happen on that? Yes, so it's going to be um, the first concert that I'm doing for my EP. Uh, this will be the first time everybody is hearing all the music. Um, so a little nervous there, but <laughs> we're going to work through it. Hey, uh, it is uh, July 10th. Like nervous, you said. Something ain't right. If you ain't nervous, something ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look, you're right. You, you done probably got arrogant at that point, and I'm <laughs> far from that. <laughs> but um. Yes, so it is July 10th. I have an opening act. My sister, um, Elder Rashinda Magruder, she is a phenomenal uh, vocalist. She actually has a, a, a project out as well, Passion for Work Worship, Passion for Worship. So you all can download that too. But um, she's going to open up for me. She's going to do about two selections. And we're just going to give the people the music and hope that they administer to their spirit and they appreciate it. You know, that's, I think that's the best we can do is do what we set out to do and let the chips fall where they may. But I believe that it's gonna be received and I believe that it's gonna to touch some lives. So yes, July 10th, uh, it will be a virtual concert. Um, we're gonna get some de more details on pricing. It's not gonna be, we're not knocking heads. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that guy. <laughs> so, but we it, it will be definitely reasonable for people to uh see the show awesome awesome yes, sir. july 10th y'all get ready for that yes. music virtual concert is going down what you say what you say now how can i listen what you say? how can our listeners follow uh bake music social media uh sites websites how can we follow you how can they follow you yes so my name is on all of them, Bake Music, B-A-K-E-M-U-S-I-C, uh, on Facebook. Uh, I think you have to put a one behind that. So Bake Music 1 on Facebook. Okay. And Bake Music, just B-A-K-E-M-U-S-I-C on uh, Instagram as well as Twitter. Uh, and you know what? I just got a TikTok. I had to get it. <laughs> I, I, my daughter make me feel old now. I'm only 33, but she make me feel, Daddy, what you doing on TikTok? <laughs> I said, your daddy's song on TikTok. Uh -huh. So you need to go make a dance on daddy's song on TikTok. <laughs> there you yes, go. Sir, but it's, yes, that's how everybody can reach me. Okay. Are you, also on, are you on Instagram too? Yes, Instagram is Bake Music. Make sure, yep. Okay. All right. Make sure y'all check them out. And he also has uh, a website. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to also post that on my, uh, what you say radio page uh, for uh, our listeners to uh, check out as well. So, uh, Hey, uh, bake music. We definitely appreciate you taking your time out to uh, come here and uh, spread your message, spread your words, spread your music and uh, inspire us here on what you say radio. You welcome back anytime. And uh, we looking forward to uh, the good things that are coming up here in your future and uh, looking forward to that uh, virtual concert coming up July 10th. Uh, anything you got, uh, any closing shots you want to give before you go? 
Well, first you, thank you. Thank you for having me on. I truly appreciate this opportunity. Uh, shouts out to Renee uh, for connecting us, my yes. management, uh, Renee. Timeless. And of course, my wife. <laughs> I have to shout out my wife for letting me have this time in my life right now. So she's, she's very supportive of me and my family, my church family. Uh, so yes, everybody, everybody, I, I truly appreciate where I am right now. So thank you. Thank you again. Teamwork makes a dream work. All right. There he is. Yes, music. Hey, appreciate you stopping by my brother. God bless you. You keep pressing and uh, you take care. All right. There yes, sir. You too. Thank you. Yes, sir. There he is, y'all. Fake music right here on What You Say Radio. Sunday morning gospel. Appreciate everybody tuning in right here. What You Say Radio. This is fake music. We made it. Everybody have a great Sunday. Me that you care. What do I turn when I'm feeling down? Call you, can you hear me now? What do I turn when I'm up to run? My life saver when I'm in a drop. Been through the storm and the rain, but you feel my pain. You never touch, never blame me. I'm so grateful that you saved me. Then I lost my baby, I lost my mind. I did it to God, I was gonna make it. Did it to God, I was gonna make it. But you pick me up and you turn me around. I did it to God, I was gonna make it. Did it to God, I was gonna make it. Big music. Hands up made it. Make sure y'all check it out. Everybody have a great rest of your Sunday. God bless y'all. Stay prayed up. Keep God first. What you say?